freeze these things so that they don't go to waste. So put them into your bag, and again, right into that little area here, which is where your bag goes, and lock it closed. You want to hear that snap. And then you can quick set your mode, dry, vacuum. So vacuum here is automated, right? I just press down and you could see the air coming out. And this is what I do every time I make a batch of pancakes or waffles. Now when I stop, look at that. The pancake isn't crushed, the air is removed, they're now ready for the freezer. I'm gonna switch my mode to seal. And that's gonna seal the bag nice and tight. It's flashing, that means it's sealing. And when it stops flashing, that means it's perfectly sealed. And I can take it out and move it to the freezer. Then what I do at home, and this is why it's been living on my counter, because I'm really storing all my food, removing the air and putting it in the fridge, putting it in the freezer, extending the shelf life of those waffles that I'm making, of those pancakes that I'm making, of the cheese that I'm buying. You really want to extend the shelf life. This has been a restaurant secret for many, many years. You need a Sharpie. Why do you need a Sharpie? Check it out. I have a freezer that is so well organized. Pancakes, and what's today's date? 21st, it's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. Happy birthday, dad. 80 years young. Oh. Mom, I know you're watching on Facebook. Get dad to watch too. Happy birthday, dad. <laughs> it's the 21st. I now know that I made this batch of pancakes on July 21st. It goes in my freezer. And if ever you've opened your fridge or your freezer and be like, what the heck is this? When's this from? Keep it fresh and label it. That's the way to do it. So you do your waffles, your pancake batches. How about the egg bites that I made earlier? I told you you can make them the night before. You can do them a couple days before. If you remove the air, they're gonna stay fresh. So here's the bacon Greer egg bites that I was hoping to eat, but I'll eat them later. I can put them in here. I love these bags also because you can clearly see what's going on on the inside. And just by removing air, that's gonna extend the shelf life of that beautiful food that I went to the trouble of making. So I put the bag in the center. You wanna hear that click? And then you could do it on automatic or I can do it just by myself. And I'm gonna take the air out of those beautiful egg bites. Think about, by the way, when you find something on sale, this is a great way to buy something on sale, scoop it up, look at that, all the air is gone. And you can put it into your vacuum sealer bag, you could freeze it, refrigerate it, extends the shelf life. Now I'm gonna go mode to seal, press start, and it's gonna blink and seal that bag perfectly shut tight. This has been a restaurant secret for years. We always have big commercial vacuum sealers for not just food stores, but for marinating foods. When you get your steak and your fish and your chicken with some olive oil and aromatics, it sucks the marinade right into whatever you're marinating. But it's also for organization. Look at that. Isn't this better than going in a random container with no date, we have no idea what it is, when it was made. This is the way to do it. And we got another question on Facebook Live. Hit me. Great question. How long can the bag stay in the freezer? I've kept these in the freezer for months. It's not a question of the bag. It's more a question of the food. So here's the thing. In the freezer, it doesn't stay in there forever. Depending on the food, like those pancakes, a month or two. And I think that's good enough. So I like to know the date of things, right? So the food is what you gotta think about. It extends the life of your food. You can leave it in the freezer for a couple months. The bags are indefinite. It's really about extending the life of the food. But here's the best part about this. Let's say I have these in my freezer and I pull them out or I have them in my fridge. I can cut them open, take out one egg bite or two egg bites or whatever, take out a couple pancakes. I can cut it, open it, now all the air is back and I can reseal it, put it back and do the same. Press down so that it's sealed and then reseal. Oops, I'm not totally sealed. So you see guys, you gotta make sure it's in there and you wanna hear a double click. There you go, that's the double click. So anyway, that's going. My waffles are done for sure, Bobby. And I, oh, yes. I gotta give you the chocolate one. Good. I was gonna give you apple pie, but the chocolate is sizzling and talking to me. And I just have these marshmallows that I've toasted oh. for the Rocky Road waffle. Oh. I got some hazelnuts. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. How about some chocolate sauce? Oh Go my for gosh. It. Hello, chocolate sauce. <laughs>